we're going to be talking about what is the difference between a vulnerability assessment and a penetration test. I often get this question, what is the difference? Why do I need one over the other? And a whole bunch of other questions about these two. But in this video, we're going to be talking about what is the difference, right? So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. If you guys are returning, thank you so much for the support, and let's have some fun. So penetration testing. So a penetration test is done to find vulnerabilities, right? We're trying to find areas of weakness, right? Malicious content, flaws, and risks, right? So this is done to build up the organization's security system to defend the IT infrastructure defend against these attacks in the real world or from a real adversary or a real bad guy, right? So penetration testing is also known as pen testing. You might hear this out there, oh, I need a pen test, or I'm a pen tester, or not I'm a penetration tester or something like that. You're gonna, you know, there's a, there's a few words for it, but at the end of the day, it's pretty much an ethical hacker, right? So, it is an you know, official procedure that can be helpful and not harmful. We wanna help the organization. We wanna make sure their security posture is in good shape. So they're not gonna you know, take a hit from ransomware or take a breach or data breach, et cetera. But we'll get into that shortly, right? So it is a part of an ethical hacking process, right? So where it specifies or where we can specifically focus on just the penetration testing systems, meaning the information system in the sense of a server, a network, a website, a mobile app, Wi-Fi network, just a information system that we're trying to penetrate or hack, right? So this is in a nutshell, right? So what kind, there's multiple kinds of pen testing. There's white box pen tests, there's black box and gray box. You know, this is not going to be a full video on each one, but in a nutshell, a black box assessment or black box pen test is when you have no information about the organization. They just say, find what you can and go to town. A gray box is saying, I want to give you some information, but I'm not going to give you everything. And a white box, say, for example, if you're going to do a web application, maybe they'll give you the code. Maybe they'll give you some of the, you know, They'll set you up with a, a user so you can have an authenticated scan against their network or have some kind of way in, maybe a VPN connection, or maybe you can drop a laptop in their organization or in their infrastructure so you can maybe team viewer into that and get into your, you know, your Kali Linux box or whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, whatever you guys do, right? There's a million ways to skin the cat, but that's ultimately what a pen test is. Uh, we're trying to exploit vulnerabilities with permission from an organization, right? And just to test their security posture. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I was at a client site and they asked me, what is the difference between a vulnerability assessment and a penetration test? And I went into detail with them, just like I want to go into detail with you, right? So hopefully they can watch this video and I probably sound like a broken record, but I got some ideas and this is why I'm writing it down. That's why I wrote it down and I'm making this video now. So if we come down and we talk about the next one, right? So a vulnerability assessment or a vulnerability scan. This is very simple, right? Vulnerability assessment or vulnerability scan is a technique of finding and measuring security vulnerabilities in a given environment. So if I want to go ahead and scan, you know, these go hand in hand. You can do a vulnerability assessment and then a pen test, but you cannot do a pen test without really a vulnerability assessment, in my opinion, right? You can, but it'll, it'll, it'll be a lot, you know, if you're doing a black box assessment, you know, but I think doing that vulnerability assessment is going to give you that insight of the information that we're trying to exploit. At least that's my opinion, right? That's what I do. So, you know, we can have that in leverage, right? We can test for multiple things. We can assess multiple things. And there's multiple scanners out there, multiple scanning companies or vulnerability assessment companies. Qualys, this company right here being one of them, Nessus or Tainable, there's Rapid7, OpenVos. There's a boatload of vulnerability scanners out there that you can use 
and learn. And maybe you can scan your own network and see if there's any vulnerabilities on your network to see, you know, maybe your home network. Like I do have Nessus running in my house, right? My home network, I have a VM that I just have, you know, a server and I have this machine running and I, I scan like once a month, you know, once a month I do my scan and, um, you know, just make sure like my firewall is up to date. My switch is, you know, everything. Cause I have managed switches. I have a server, I have, you know, all these little things in my home office for my lab. I just want to make sure I'm not susceptible to any vulnerabilities, right? Especially I have public facing servers that I have two servers that are public facing. My NAS, you know, I'm using, there's a, there's multiple things, you know, you can scan and make sure you're protected, right? So I think I just said this, it is used to identify the potential weaknesses and provides the proper mitigation measures to either remove the weaknesses or reduce the risk, right? So what does that mean? So I want to go ahead and I don't want to have that server out there because I can't patch it. So I want to remove this. I want to remove this, this, the server from my infrastructure, just so I know we can't update it because it will blow it up. So I'm just going to remove it. Maybe another thing you can do in that situation, what I've seen people do is say, for example, you have an old server in your environment and you can't update it for nothing. What you can do is take it off the internet, right? You can, there's still like, if you were doing an internal assessment, yes, it's going to come up because it's on that local LAN, right? But if you're scared that someone's going to get it from the outside, what you can do is take, remove the gateway, right? And then have, you know, the IP address and the subnet mask on that server that you can traverse data. You can communicate with it only locally. You, it doesn't go on the internet. So, you know, it's not going to pull down any craziness. It's not going to download anything, you know, just have it local and you can, you know, if it's a database server or something that you need to access the data from that server internally, that's another way, you know, a workaround. So you can remove that weakness and reduce that risk, right? So that's pretty much the two differences between a penetration test and a vulnerability assessment or a vulnerability scan. You know, you can run this against anything. Like I run this in my house. I have thermostats. I have cameras. I have so many IoT devices that I got an itch um, that I that I that I scan for, right? Because maybe my camera is, needs a new firmware, right? Maybe my fridge that's connected to the internet needs a new firmware, something, right? And that thing's connected to the internet. And maybe that's the IoT device is gonna end up on Shodan and that's gonna be exploitable because I didn't update it. You know, obviously I'm making a joke, but it's sort of serious. But um, always make sure your infrastructure, always make sure your network is up to date. Um, you can scan for vulnerabilities, make sure you're all good to go. And I believe, you know, with these two tactics, you know, you know, the reason, maybe a question is, why do I need these two? You know, how, how much time? We, we have eight minutes, we're eight minutes in. So why do we need a pen test? Why do we need a vulnerability assessment, right? There can be multiple reasons. Maybe you need to get, you know, maybe it's, you know, a regulator because you're PCI DSS compliant. You know, maybe you have to have this because of some other, some other thing, right? So, but obviously it keeps you safe. You know, I would probably recommend doing a vulnerability scan if you have it internally, probably once a month and a pen test at least twice a year. That would be my recommendation. Um, I'm more than happy to hear your recommendation. If you work for a pen testing company, if you work for someone that you guys get the pen test or get the vulnerability assessments, what do you guys go through, right? So I'm more than happy to hear it and um, to discuss, you know, join my discord, you know, leave a comment. However you want to communicate with me, I'm more than happy to chit chat. And I really appreciate you guys watching this video. And if you guys have any questions, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to help. Thank you so much for viewing. And until next time, have an awesome day, guys.